Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Women's Hockey Reviews. Today I'm going to be talking about the Stark Hockey Women's Hockey Gloves. Let's do it. So today I've got a pair of the Stark Hockey NC7 No Compromise Women's Gloves. Now these are the 2019 model. I believe they have a 2020 model. I'm not sure what the differences are. I just know that they do have a 2020 model that's different. And um, I do have another pair that I can compare it to. So these I've had since um, probably about a year and a half now that I've been using and I have a brand new pair with me to compare it to. So um, I've talked about these gloves in previous videos before and I really like these gloves a lot. I think it gives a great option for women that can't find gloves in men's styles. So for me, uh, I wear a 13 in men's, but in the Stark sizing, I wear a 14. And I just noticed with men's gloves, um, the fingers were really open, they were really loose, um, my fingers just didn't quite fit right, and the glove itself just didn't form fit my hand as well as I would have liked it to, especially after it was broken in a little bit. And with the Stark glove, you know, I, I feel that it just fits my hand overall better. Um, even though I've been using this for over a year and a half now, I feel like it still forms to my hand as far as um, tightness in the palm. The fingers are, they've loosened a little bit, but I still feel like I have a good grip on the glove. They haven't really broken down that much, which I'm pretty surprised by. Here's a comparison of the new gloves versus the old gloves. Like I said, I've been using these for about a year and a half. These are brand new. I've never used them before. Um, the only thing I've noticed is that when you first get these gloves, they might feel a little bit tight, um, but they definitely loosen up over time and they feel great once you start using them. But as you can tell, I mean, they're pretty good comparison of the palms. Um, as you can see, um, I'll get some close-ups here, here of the gloves, but um, as far as the outside goes, there's not really much that's broken down on the old gloves. Um, some of the lettering has um, rubbed off and that's just due to use, wear and tear. And then the palms, of course, have been worn down uh, on the right and the left but as far as holes or anything um, they've really held up well and I play anywhere from one to two times a week and I've even played in tournaments over the weekend where we've had up to four games and I've had uh, no issues as far as um, holes or, or wear and tear as far as that goes. Now the only thing I have I have a couple um, things that I hope uh, they upgrade in their newer models. The first thing I noticed with this glove, as I've become um, a better player over time, um, you know I'm still new to playing. I've only been playing um, not quite two years yet, so I'm still getting better, still learning new skills. But as I've kind of come to understand what I like in equipment, what I don't like in equipment, I've noticed that their thumb is really not flexible at all. And I think that's something that I'd like for them to improve in their newer model or at least have as an option to their next gloves. Because um, their, their current glove, at least the 2019 model, is really stiff in the thumb. I mean, I'm pulling really hard and it's not really bending very much. As far as protection goes, um, you know, I've been hitting the gloves, I've been slashed. I think this holds up really well as far as protection. Um, I really can't complain. As far as mobility in the wrist, uh, I've never had any issues as far as that goes. I've never had it getting caught on anything. I really like its ability to move and stick handle. Like I said, as I'm getting better, I'm understanding what I like more in equipment and I've really enjoyed the amount of mobility this gives me in my wrists. 
finger flexibility and mobility pretty good um not really much that you need as far as finger flexibility you know when you're stick handling holding the stick you're pretty much gripping it so um not too much to um complain about or seek advice or give advice i should say on that front now going back to the breakdown the one thing that has bothered me about this glove and i don't know if i can get a close-up of it um, to show you guys up in the corner here but there's a liner inside that is kind of within the fingers here and that has come apart and sometimes that really bugs me during games it gets wrapped up in my fingers and so that's really the only major complaint I have about this glove is that liner within the fingers has come off and I'll notice it you know just bugs me annoys me gets wrapped up in my fingers um, gets twisted within the glove and you know that can become a hindrance it's not really something super major um, but to me that's that's the biggest thing I've noticed with this glove as uh, as far as use over time now I do want to make it clear that um, I am not sponsored by Star Cocky um, but I just really like their products a lot I think the company does a great job of trying to market their products towards players that aren't really being marketed towards at the moment so adults in um, rec leagues um, both men and women but women especially they've got pan sticks you know i mentioned those in previous videos before but you know despite some of the small things i've mentioned with these gloves i think these are excellent choices you know, and at the very least, just give them a try. You, you can't go wrong with giving them a try. They're pretty good price. Um, they're not they're not gonna break the bank or anything. And if you just can't find the right fit in a men's glove, I think these are a great option for you. And um, I'll link their website in the description below. And if you have any other questions about these gloves, feel free to message me or um, contact them on Instagram. Uh, they respond really quickly most of the time and they'll be pretty open about any questions you have um and yeah all right thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoy videos like these please let me know in the comments below i have more ideas of videos to talk about for women's hockey reviews and just informational videos for newer players coming up things i wish i knew or was available online or things that i found out through the process of researching gear and just learning uh, new skills and, and learning the game of hockey. So I'll be sure to come out with that. Um, right now I am on some clinicals for my schooling, so I'm not sure how much ice time I'll be getting the rest of the year. So I'm gonna try my absolute best to get on the ice when I can, but I'll continue to keep posting as many videos as I can related to hockey. But as soon as I get back to um, where I was living, I will be back on the ice ASAP. I already miss hockey so much and um, apologize, I probably look like a mess right now. I was actually out at a park just stick handling and rollerblading a little bit. So still trying to keep in the work there. But anyways, thank you so much for the support. If you like my videos, please subscribe, leave a comment below and keep watching my videos. Thank you again.